All right, Leo, what it be, yo? It is Mira, it is Shira, it is Vera, it is Scorpion Red Tarot. I am back at it again for the month of July 2020. Did you miss me, honey? Because I sure, I sure missed you. Shout out to all my OGs, shout out to all my newbies, shout out to every last one of you that clicked this video. Thank you so much for stopping by and showing love and light to my page. If there's anyone that would like to send support or would like to book a reading with me um go ahead and click the about tab on my youtube page send me a message on instagram and i will tell you what you need to do to go ahead and book with me my booking list uh price list is on my about page and if you have any questions you can reach out to me again on instagram and that messenger or if you don't have instagram you can send me a message on my email which is scorpionreds at gmail.com okay y'all know how we always do this every time we always give thanks to the the Lord to the Creator for just bringing us here today and just, you know, keeping us together in any type of weather. So we just want to go ahead and give thanks to the Creator, number one, first and foremost. So, Father God, thank you so much for bringing us here for the sign of Leo. Thank you so much for keeping us strong, keeping us determined, keeping us focused towards our blessing, Father God. And you know, when it rains, it always gives the earth substance and it gives it moisture and it gives it all the type of just clarity and just, you know, nurturing nutrients that we need to keep going and to sustain the hot sun and, you know, all the environments that's around us because you know it's summertime father god and you know we'll be getting hot outside so we be needing that moisture sometimes father because you can't get out there and do what you need to do if you don't have enough water to quench your thirst father god so i thank you so much to you know keeping this balance and helping us to cool that fire down a little bit when it gets a little bit too hot for us father god so um give us guidance for my Leos, thank you so much for all of the blessings and the lessons that you've given us in the past, present, and future. Give us guidance today and every day for our Leos. In the month of July 2020, show me the money and the chi. Amen. All right. Let's get into the and chi. Yes, God. So, let's see what type of energy we got for our Leos for July. Right, what is that? We got the listen. Listen. We got the listen card, okay? So this card is basically saying to quiet your mind so that your heart can hear spirit a little bit more. Um, it's just letting you know to just know that every single thing um that needs its I dotted and its T cross is being taken care of in a spiritual sense. Um to just listen to what God is telling you, and most importantly, um, you got to quiet the mind and quiet the soul and just quiet the tongue down sometimes. Sometimes we be doing too much talking and not enough observing and just watching and just listening. So right now, this card is just telling you to just quiet down a little bit and to quench your thirst a little bit with this nourishment that is being poured down on you, okay? I don't know if y'all can hear, but it's actually raining right now do you understand so listen it says quiet your mind beloved one and listen to the gentle reassurance that everything has been taken care of stay in a quiet and receptive state without worrying about the exact nature of your desired manifestation quiet your body as it can hear as quickly and clearer our request is for you to listen. All right. So we're going to get two to the right, two to the left. And then we're going to just relax and don't stress. So let's see what's going on here. It's just like literally you have to learn to trust your intuition on certain things. You have to trust your intuitions instead of questioning things. Just listen to what your heart and your body and your mind and your soul is telling you. And you got to listen. You have to learn how to trust your mind and trust your spirit. Two to the left. Thank you. So we got the six of cups in the reverse. And then we got the two of arrows. Okay. 
so what this is basically saying that there is um, a lack of trust in a decision making process where you keep going through steps over and over and over in your mind because it's like you're trying to process all the mistakes and the things that people in your past have made the things that you've seen your mother made the mistakes that you've seen your father made and it's like you're not trying to repeat the history and it's like you just you know it's like you just want to be and make a better example of yourself do you understand and you done been through and you done seen so much with the six of cups in the reverse you know this has to deal with some type of childhood wounds childhood energy that you refuse to allow it to reciprocate any type of abundance in your life you understand like you're not going to continue to feed me the same pains and the same memories and the same misery i'm not going to tell the same story that my mother and my father and their grandmother and their grandfather done told and my cousins and like no we about to break this curse right here you understand um what spirit is guiding you to do is to thoroughly listen because it's like right now even with this raining and this storm going on in the back of me I feel like it's a cleansing it's a rebalancing and it's you being able to give yourself some well needed clean water to give you a clean environment and clean thinking it's like it's, it's a storm coming to like wash away something so that you can have more balanced clean thinking and clear minds ahead so that you can move forward towards your destiny and what you really need to happen in your life what is this the green man so what did it, this is the emperor in the reverse there's like a scarcity um scarcity i don't even know where scarcity comes from but like there's a fear that um you won't be able to ever step up as a man and like fully be able to take responsibility for everything that you're asking for or that you have a fear as a woman that you're not going to find a man that's really going to be responsible and is going to stand up and take care of you in a natural sense of the natural way it's like you would have to like force this man to get him to get up and go and to get a job and to take care of the kids and to take out of the trash and you know it's like I feel like this is something where you've seen this type of scarcity of an actual good man of a responsible man of someone that is you know putting in something positive to his environment to make sure and ensure that everything in his eyesight is probably growing his woman his children his business his career his his animals just like every single thing and that he's protecting it and he's watching over it and he's being responsible and he's being active and he's being dedicated like there's a scarcity you guys have not been able to see or experience that type of man that has that type of dedication because of your parents mistakes or your grandparents mistakes and things and it's like even certain things that you're doing right now it's like you're trying so much not to do it and be like that that you are doing and being like that does that make any sense does that make any sense it's still some place that you have yet to go, that you want to go, that you want to achieve, that you want to receive. But I feel like you are scared that you don't know the right steps to, to, to take a positive step forward. And that's why the spirit is trying to tell you to listen, to listen that you are not your past. You are not your parents and your grandparents mistake even though that you've witnessed it and stuff like that if you have a determination and a right to enact your skill and your work and your integrity and in everything that you do you don't have to worry about you know being scared of responsibility or your ability to manage the responsibility like you are a good man or you are going to be accustomed to having a lot of good men in your life it's all about you being able to enact responsibility and correct decision making for yourself and not keep yourself in this stagnation because of the woulda shoulda couldas of the past of other people that you've seen come before you don't stagnate yourself you need to turn this around take that blindfold off pay attention to what you're doing and take correct aim you know are you going to focus on the things that are more material in in sense or more faith in sense 
you know and you can have a balance of the material and faith but at the same time if you don't have any faith to get you going you will never have anything material in the long run it'll never last you know if you don't put any faith behind what you're doing you know so it's like you have to believe in yourself you have to believe in yourself that you can make change and that you are the change that needs to be made at this current time in your life not only for you but for your family and your family's legacy you don't want to Reenact the, the mistakes of the past of your ancestors and the people before you. You know, you want someone that is really, really, really going to stand the test of time. You know, and if that's what you need, and if that's what you want, you need to listen. You need to go inside and listen. And thoughts are creations. You have to pay attention to what you're stirring into the pot. Chase your faith, not fear. Do you understand? Chase your faith, not fear. If what you're fearing is a man like this, or you being a man like this, are you scared of actually standing up and being a boss? If you're scared of that, you're going to constantly manifest more of that. And you are repeating the past because you're letting your past stagnate you and you don't even realize. What is this? The wheel of fortune in the reverse. Again, this is someone feeling like they're cursed with bad luck and like a, a, a bad lineage of, of men. Like there's no men in the family. That's kind of what I'm getting here. And it's like, am I reenacting the same? Oh, why did they say that to me just now? Hmm. Lord Jesus, what does this say? The Queen of Stones in the reverse. So, okay, so, okay, I got what they're trying to say. It's like, I am I doing the same thing? Am I willing the same weave of destruction that's kind of plagued my family? It seems like women going through some type of financial struggle like trying to like be the aggressive one be the assertive one trying to take everything on their own when really these women are very very soft-hearted kind women they really just want to be nurtured and just want a man to really take care of them like I don't care like how strong these women come off it's like these women really really want this queen of stones and this Queen of Stones in the reverse really does want someone to take care of them. It really does need the love and needs to feel cared for during times like this when it's storming and everything. Like, of course, she's a woman. She might be scared of the, the storm, but just like not having a man there that is really being responsible, that is really, really holding her down. She's kind of had to assert herself that like she's stronger than what she is and she's not struggling in the way that she is. And, and whoever this is, it's like they feel like their luck has just been bad. Like this tapestry, this weaving of like their family stitching, like it's just been like a curse. Like, why can't I have what? they never had like they never had like an active father in their life like you know all of the women in my family have always had fi bad financial luck and it's been struggling and things like this and this is something that's been going on and on and on and on and on and on and on in my family and i don't understand why and i want to find a way out of it but it's like you not it's something in you that you're not trusting your faith to pay attention to the context clues and just listen because you can't be the one that is the game changer. You can be the one that can change this tapestry. You know what I'm saying? You might just decide and look at them there. Listen, you might be the one that just tears the tapestry down. And decides to redesign and to rebuild. You know? Because I don't have to be... I don't have to be this ferocious creature. I want to be more loving. I want to be more caring. I want to be more nurturing. I want to be able to pay more attention to the things that I really want to create in my life. Like the queen of pinnacles is someone that loves animals. Is someone that loves kids. Is someone that loves family. And I feel like this could possibly be someone that doesn't have a man or doesn't have a family or doesn't have any kids or you know what I'm saying? Or has one 
but just not good representation of what a man should be to pass on to the children, to the lineage, you understand? And this woman is just going through so much struggle and financial ruin. And this is something that they've seen other people in their family go through. So, give me guidance right here for my Leos. Magnificent. Yes, my dear, you are magnificent. And apparently, I did not shuffle all of the cards. But I'm definitely going to keep that card. Because it's like, indeed, you are magnificent. And you are going to be the one that's going to change the game. It's... You have to stop doubting yourself and you need to start implementing more faith in what you're doing. Once you make your mind up that that's who you exactly are, I am not this of my past and I'm not going to let this run through me or by me anymore. I'm too magnificent for that. I know my truth. I know my skill. I know my factor. My factor is a little bit different than what the ones before me did. I'm not them. It says you are amazing, magnificent, and unique. But most importantly, you are enough. You are enough. Listen, you have magnificence. You are not your past. You are your present. And you are your future. What does it say? Creation. Be crea being creative is a wonderful way of witnessing the unfolding of your limitless creative soul. You got to do the things that those other people in your past, your ancestors, and what is this? Celebration also came out. Celebration says, celebrate your achievements. You are truly a gift to the universe. So again, I don't care wherever it is that you currently stand. Even if right now financially you are not at the place that you really, really want to be. Even if people say that you come off a little strong and, you know, it's time to start softening things up. Like I said, in the reverse, this is someone that is not able to take care of their plants, take care of their animals, feel like they work too hard and they, have, they don't have enough time for their children. And it's like even the work that I'm doing, I might be working too much and the pay still ain't enough for me to take care of my family the way that I want to or be able to live the way that I truly want to. So why am I working this hard? You understand? Why am I not able to spend my time and do the things that I want to, which is going in my garden, which is taking care of my animals, my family, this, this, and that. This is someone that wants to spend more time at home. You know? Whoa! Bitch! Child, listen to me. I'm gonna keep it going. I'm gonna keep it going, dog. I gotta keep this going. <sighs> Boy, this storm, bitch. This storm, shit. So let's get into these love cards real quick. Cause what I was saying is, um, the reason why it's storming like this in your life, and the reason why you're going through this struggle right now is for you to truly listen. You got to listen. It's raining like this not only because it's hot right now. Right now, things are scorching right now with this Wheel of Fortune and them perverse. It's like a lack of a true father figure, but real male role model. And the women had to struggle and work so hard to be both the man and the woman. And that is the curse that you feel like is on your family and that you want lifted up off of you. You really want lifted off of you. You are magnificent in a way to create a way that you will be able to celebrate a new life existence. You can tear down this tapestry and recreate one of your own that is going to change the legacy of your family. You can do it. You have to believe in yourself. You understand? And you need this rain right now. You need it to storm to come to wash away all of that old energy. That is washing that shit away. Do you understand? This is the thing that you are not able to see. You just think because it's storming that it's more bad luck and it's more things cursing you and it's more bad things pouring down on your life. If you have more faith, you will be able to see what God is trying to do in your life. Every storm ain't necessarily a one of destruction. Sometimes destruction can be a blessing in your life. 
You just have to be able to witness things from a standpoint of what you're going through right now isn't something that you're comfortable in. So God said, I need to destroy that because we're rebuilding a new tapestry, something that you can wear that is more comfortable for you, something that is more fitting for you. Let him do it. Let him do it. You are magnificent enough and you deserve it. Give me a love oracle card. Thank you. We got Henry the Eighth, and you already know what his ass is about. You already, <laughs> you know, when I see this card, this card to me it represents um, a very misunderstood person. But one thing I can say about Henry the Eighth is, is that um, no matter how crazy his love affairs and his love situations may have been, no matter how it turned out, he never stopped loving. He never stopped loving. And one thing I can tell you about him, he was never scared to cut someone off or get rid of someone or get a situation up off him that he felt like it was less than his happiness. Even if he might have did some underhanded shit to get rid of some motherfuckers. Oh, all right, literally chop a motherfuckers head off and shit like that. It don't matter. You understand? Well, it do matter. But you know what I'm saying? Whatever. Like, this motherfucker, to the day that he died, kept loving. You know? It didn't matter how big his belly is or what his situation was. You understand? He knew he was the boss. And he paid the cost to be the boss. Do you understand what I'm saying? And if people didn't fit his manuscript, they would be in another picture on the wall. <laughs> and he was going to continue to show niggas how to ball. Do you understand what I'm saying? He did not let nothing stop his pursuit of happiness and love and fulfillment for himself. You know? Regardless of how it may have been looked. But he had many wives and he had many, many tales. He had such a colorful life that you could write a fucking book about it. That you have a series about it. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, regardless of what you go through in life, even if you've had many different faces from many different places and many different spaces of your life that you have a story behind that some might have started good, some might have ended bad or whatever the fuck the situation is, still be encouraged to continue to create, you know? Don't ever let nothing stop you. It says act like a gentleman and you'll feel like a king. A rose has thorns, cultivated kind of flowers. Loving a great deal means sacrificing a great number. So let's break this down. Act like a gentleman and you'll feel like a king. Indeed. So for the male Leos out there, act like a gentleman and you'll feel like a king. And for the women, make sure that you are of surrounding yourself by men that are acting like a gentleman. You know? Then they'll think like a king because they are king. They are royalty. Do you understand what I'm saying? You are what you eat. It says a rose has thorns. Cultivate kind of flowers. So with that being said is the rose may be one of the most desired flowers. Everyone loves roses. You know, but roses have thorns. Roses literally do have sharp edges, and you can be pricked and hurt if you fall into a rose bush and if you are not watching what you're doing. And with this character, it's just basically saying if you don't watch what you're doing, you could be hurt around a character like this. So cultivate kind of flowers. So it's something about possibly you guys. And remember, I did say something about this Queen of Stones in the reverse. It's just like being a, a person that people think may be overly aggressive or too bossy or too... Um, I want to say argumentative. It's just like too... Uh, you know? It's something about the energy of this man or this woman. It's like you don't, you walk on eggshells and you don't know if today is going to be the day where your head is on a guillotine. You know what I'm saying? So it's something about you changing and having a softer approach at life. Like if you want things to be kinder to you, you have to be kinder to it. That's kind of what I'm getting. And love, 
loving a great deal means sacrificing a great number and as you can see a lot of people got sacrificed but this man like I said continued to love again um, and hopefully through each relationship he grew kinder you know um, I don't necessarily think that Henry grew kinder I don't really think that he changed his ways at all um, and I think he died sick and alone I want to say that from that injury or something If, if you don't want to end up like this, it don't matter how many lovers that you have up on the wall. If you don't want to end up sick and alone, and I'm sorry to like really say this, but I got to be honest with you. You got to cultivate kind of flowers. It's like the energy that you are producing, it can't, if you want to attract better, you have to act like a gentleman and you'll feel like a king. When you act differently, you'll feel differently. And it'll produce different fruit. A rose has thorns. Cultivate kinder flowers. You gotta be gentler. You gotta be kinder. You know? You gotta be kinder. Everybody's head can't go in the guillotine. You know? So what is this? The hermit in the reverse. This is someone that spent a great deal of time alone. This is someone who has been spending a great deal of time alone, just trying to figure things out for themselves and just trying to understand things for their own understanding. And it's time for you to come out of hiding, really. You know what I'm saying? And show your face to the public. I feel like this is someone that has been keeping itself secluded and hidden from the public for some reason. And it's time for you to come out. Like, you should have learned everything that you needed to learn during this time for you to demonstrate the exact changes. And I feel like this is someone that kind of feels like they don't know how to change, but at the same if you if you want to change, you can create and you can celebrate that change because you are magnificent and you are enough and really you already know enough. You've learned enough about yourself. You clearly see what it is that you do not want to attract in your life and you see what you don't want to be in the life you don't want to be someone that's struggling and, and just aggressive and just lonely and just no kids you know just like no you don't want to be like that what is this the two of wands in the reverse so this is someone having a hard time letting go um this is someone that has a hard time letting go of the pains of yesterday is what they're basically saying. It's like you are extremely passionate about everything that you say and that you do and you create. But at the same time, you can't create and move forward if you're not willing to really truly look at certain things that you need to change and let go to move forward. And there's certain things about yourself that you are refusing to change and, and let go. And if you look at him right so if you look at him he had many wives like i said a couple of them he's done cut their head off and he killed them themselves he had something to do with that goddamn murder right you understand so it's like this person had every very much everything to do with the destruction of his relationships and why they didn't thrive you know what i'm saying because of his actions and things so it's like you're going on this seclusion in this inner journey to figure out why is it that you're, you know, alone and can't find this happiness or, or whatever. Why are people saying that I'm aggressive? Why can't I? Why am I having this bad luck in relationships and just overall in family relationships? It's like this is someone that just has a bad luck with just family shit, period. Like their family just might be fucked up, period. And you could have actually had no father figure there, period. You know? And if I want someone to grow with me, I got to be willing to work with them. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, I can't make it a struggle. I can't make it a struggle. Like, both of these people are having to come together and put both of their passions together to reproduce and recreate love. 
so that things can grow like they love what they're doing and that's why it's growing because they're both putting their passions and they're both putting their skills and they're not trying to over talk each other they're not trying to overpower each other they're not trying to outwit each other they are literally just like literally just it's a bond in a reverse it's like something that you won't let go of about yourself that is getting in the way of you being able to successfully create bonds with people and it's like you're fighting within yourself and it's something that you're not seeing and I feel like you need to take a deeper look further because there is a certain level of assertiveness and aggressiveness in your in your way that you do things and there is a sharp edge with you and people do feel that they're not safe around you because it's our argument that's going to ensue or there's going to be some type of struggle and trying to work things together with you and I don't know if you easily cut people out of your life or something like that but it's like someone needing to do some deep soul searching and really they're trying not to repeat this shit, but they are very much so repeating some of this shit, you know? And, again, loving a great day. And it's like this person does have a good heart and an open heart, but it's like you can be open to love. But being able to keep it requires you being willing to change if someone's being willing to change for you and, like, to work together to manifest greatness in the relationship. Like, if you... Just want to see things the way you want to see it and don't really want to look at yourself and like how you might be coming off aggressively to people and maybe people don't want to be around that energy. And I'm sorry to say that, but it's like y'all have to listen to this shit because there's something that you're repeating that is the reason. You know, and I even want to say, even with this, the green man in reverse with the emperor in the reverse, even with your fam your family and your parents and shit, it's something that you're repeating that they're doing is the reason why you might have grew up without a family, um, a father figure there or someone that was willing to actually stick around and be responsible, you know, in that role because this queen mother could be, you know, I mean, she was, even the the queen of stones could be someone that's not paying attention to her children that are, you know what I'm saying? Like she, she could not be paying attention to her children running around after an irresponsible man. You understand what I'm saying? So it's like on both parts here, this is a, a, a lack of responsibility and struggle. I hate to say this, but, and then this is the five of fucking pentacles. Goddamn. I didn't even realize that. Like, legitimately, like, this is struggle. This is someone going through some type of financial struggle. That's why I'm telling you this is someone that is suffering from some type of state of lack. It's hereditary. It's something that's being passed on. As you can see, it's the sickness. You see the mushroom there with the spores. It feels like something that's contagious within their bloodline. And it's like, I don't want to feel this way anymore this is someone that might be going through some type of emotional depression of lack like why can't i have i don't want to be like my mother you understand i don't want to have the same back look that she's had a relationship rub off on me i don't want to wear that shirt i don't want to wear that tapestry i actually want a man that's going to respect me and that's going to stick there and that's going to stay there you know I want to be able to make the right choices. I don't want to be, you know. But it's like being able to pull yourself out of the state of lack. This, this could even be like financial depression. And then the princess of swords in the reverse. So, again, like... Four of Wands. So, again, so this is someone that is tired of being depressed, tired of being locked out. And it, this can also represent like some type of homelessness or just lack of, um, lack of like home foundation. 
lack of home foundation. I feel like this is even something that has been passed down. This could be someone like your mother never had a strong lack of home foundation for you. Like you could have grew grew up in your mother's house, in your grandmother's house, because your mother never had a place of y'all own. Like, even when y'all were young, y'all could have been couch surfing or y'all never had, like, a stable home environment. And you just always kind of felt like an outcast or something. So, with this being said with this, y'all are, like, deeply searching within, deeply searching without, and trying to figure out what I need to do to enact some type of change. Yes, as you can see with this page of sword, um, this is someone that is very sharp edged and very aggressive and very easy to um, excite into an argument or uh, a disagreement. And, you know, it's always trying to like outstage someone in regards to will and things of like just a very logical person or something like that but with this page of swords in the reverse it's like i think you guys are finally getting to the point where you are acknowledging like too many people are saying that i'm being aggressive too many people are saying the same shit over and over and over again it's time for me to stop being so argumentative and actually look and listen and pay attention to what they're saying because the same thing that they're saying to me may be the same thing that I feel about my mother. You know what I'm saying? And why she couldn't keep a man and why my father wasn't there and why other men are not sticking around and they don't want to because they feel like, you know, they don't want to deal with certain aspects of her. And I don't want people to say things like that about me because, you know... I'm magnificent. I can create something different. I want to celebrate in my happiness. I don't want to live my life alone. I don't want to die with all of these different failed husbands. Like, I feel like this is someone also that has a mother that had a whole bunch of failed relationships. Like, has multiple husbands or some shit like that. Like, had, like, has two or three different divorces or something like that. And it's just a struggle in anything they do with other people for things to actually grow and move in the correct direction. And I do feel like this person has a fear that whoever this man or woman is um, in this family is going to fucking die alone. And they don't want that. This Leo wants a four of wands. This person wants to come home to a happy home. And they feel like this depression because I do feel like this person does suffer some from some some level of depression and not being able to figure things out and they really don't see just how much they are reenacting the same fucking events that cause their their family or whoever this is in their family to act this way and that's why they're searching deep inside because they don't want this sickness to like pour out on them no more. They don't want the rain to continue to fall on them. Anyway, let me go, you guys. I love you. Peace.